think about all the valves that you have out in your facility that are heart communicating. Why are you not communicating to them? Well, maybe your infrastructure isn't set up that way. Maybe you don't have uh, multiplexers installed. Or maybe it's just too difficult to mess with the wiring that's already established out in that field. Hi, my name is Perry Carter, and I'm going to show you how we can use wireless to capture some of that information from your valves into a central location where you can use it. So what I'm going to show you is a thing that we call the Smart Wireless Thumb Adapter. And this is an adapter device that installs on positioners or transmitters, anything essentially that is heart communicating. And what this adapter does is it takes that heart information that's already residing in your smart instruments and transmits it wirelessly. And that transmission, of course, goes to the Smart Wireless Gateway where then we use it uh, in a fuller network with mul multiple devices. Now, this device it has an antenna on the end right here on the tip, and the whole thing is encapsulated so it's very rugged, withstands the, the harsh conditions of your environments. Also, you'll notice that it's attached to the one side of the conduit connection. The other side, we've still got our wiring, and our control is 4 to 20 milliamp. We are not using wireless for control, just wireless for diagnostics, configuration, and calibration. Now, because we have that control still wired, we can steal some of the energy from that loop and power the device so there's no batteries. And that's really important because that means there's no maintenance on this. It, it can work as long as uh, you've got power going to the device. So what we can do with this now is we can capture the stranded diagnostics in the instrument and run some tests so that you know the health of your valves. And we do that using software. Now, on the screen behind, we've got two windows open. One of them is the AMS device manager and we're showing three valves on this particular wireless network. So one of these valves is represented here next to me and if we go further dive deeper into that valve, one of those valves, we can open up a valve link software screen and that's where we do specific valve link tests. And if you look at the far right of the screen, we've got a yellow column there. It says alerts. Now that's showing actual active alerts that are happening in the device. So if an alert goes on or off, you'll know it immediately, and you don't have to be out in the middle of your facility looking at your valves and trying to understand these things. It's there in the comfort of your control room. And on the far right, there's a, there's a column that says PD1 button. Now that's an actual test that we can run. We can have the valve gather information about its health and tell you whether or not something has failed. And once again, that's all done in the comfort of a control room and you've done it with a wireless adapter and you haven't had to mess with your existing wires. I hope you've learned a little bit about how you can apply wireless to your control valve applications. If you'd like to learn more, please contact your local sales office. Thanks for your time.